Hey, hey, welcome back to sixth grade social studies. It is the week of April 17th, and it is the week that there is no more Mr. Cadis. Mr. Cadis is gone. Everyone is stuck with me once again, which means you're gonna get one of these weekly videos every single week again. I hope you're excited. Maybe that's a bad thing, I don't know. I hope it's not, but uh, we did have a great time with Mr. Cadis, uh, but he is now gone, hopefully going on to find a job of his own and wish him well. We thank him for his time here. Um, this next week, probably the next few weeks, we'll be making sure that we shore up, making sure that we shore up uh, anything that may have been missed or any disconnections or anything like that. And uh, we're really just moving right along with it into some really really cool topic. So we just got through a long unit of talking about uh, Latin America, both with the geography of Latin America, then into the native Latin Americans, um, like the Aztecs, Incas, and Maya. And they just did, all the students just did a tissue box project, a shoe box project, where they put together um, a bunch of information about one of those three groups of people, the Aztecs, Incas, or the Maya. And so far, they look absolutely fantastic. So uh, how we're going to transition into this week is on Monday, we just kind of had a going away party, a fun day for Mr. Cadis, which is great. Uh, and all the tissue box projects were due. So if you're getting this, because this will be out Monday night, and you are saying, oh my gosh, wait a second, I never turned that in. Son of a gun. Make sure you get that in as quick as possible. Losing some points is better than losing all points. So that was uh, that's on Monday. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we are going to, instead of going one day a week for multiple weeks, we are going to re completely rehash and recap the impact project for the sixth grade. And we're gonna finalize our trimester three impact project uh, goals and objectives for trimester three. Actually really, really simple in principle. So on trimester one, we just kind of introduced what the impact project is and we talked about uh, kids narrow down five different topics or ideas or issues in the world that they might want to help with. So uh, poverty, homelessness, uh, terminal illnesses, uh, homelessness, you know, the, as we say often, the world is not in need of hurts to find. There is plenty of them. Um, so it's really, really cool to just start to garner interest in how students might want to help and where students might want to help in the world. Anything from something that happens across the globe to right here in our own backyard or in our own lives. So there's plenty of opportunities, super, super cool. Trimester one, just come up with ideas that you might want to help with, five of them. Trimester two was talking about the different ways in which you can do service and help with anything. So you can volunteer, you can do fundraisers, you can put together public service announcements, drives, you can actually create, invent, or innovate some type of product or idea that would help whatever the cause is. So a bunch of different ways in which you can help. So now we have five topics that we might be interested in. We understand way more than five ways in which you could help with a project. So now our trimester three goals, which is what we're gonna be doing over the next three days, is to try to narrow it down, not try to, just do it. Narrow it down to one topic that is our that is our, our favorite, each student's favorite, that they think they wanna do for sure. A lot of kids already have like, okay, I know I wanna do this thing and I got it dialed in. That's awesome. If not, we're gonna kind of mix and match. You're not set in stone with this for the whole rest of the, of the middle school uh, with Mr. Austin in seventh grade and Mr. Uh, Finkbeiner in eighth grade, but it gives you some guidance. You already have four other backups, regardless of which one you choose. So it gives you some direction. And then with that one topic, you're gonna choose three ways and determine how, at just a very base level, you could help with that topic using three different avenues. So just as an example, let's say you picked you want to help with the water crisis somewhere in the world. Uh, water, clean drinking water is a problem. Awesome, that's your topic. And then you're gonna describe uh, in a paragraph why that topic specifically stood out to you. Why that over anything else? There's no right or wrong answers, but you have to give some detail of why that, um, that topic. So water crisis is our topic. Now you're gonna choose and talk about how you could help with the water crisis in three different ways so that we're not going to be stuck into one way just in case over the next few years things don't quite work out the way that we want so um 
Water crisis is my topic. Now, how could I help? Well, I could do a fundraiser of some kind to raise money to give to a specific charity that will build water wells. Awesome, so describe what that fundraiser might look like. Second way is I could just create public service announcements, a series of public service announcements. Maybe I create some type of media channel or advertisement campaign that brings awareness and light and directs people to different avenues of where they can help out with that. So your whole impact project is this uh, conglomerate of public service announcement that announcements that bring awareness to that topic. Or, and then the third one might be, I want to try to create some type of invention that actually takes dirty water well, with, with different types of bacteria and parasites in it and at like a cheap cost could clean up that water that could maybe be sent to places where there is a uh, uh, low supply of clean drinking water. And I wanna try to, you know, I wanna use, maybe I'm really into science and I wanna use my science uh, interests and love to create some type of product that would help. That's it, you don't have to, it's not a big, big detail of how all of those things are gonna work because that's what you're gonna be figuring out next year and the year after. It's just, do I have an idea? Do I know why I want that idea? And then three ways that I could help to just that topic. That's kind of everything in a nutshell. We can definitely do that. We can definitely do that in three days. In fact, I'm positive of it. So that's gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then on Friday, we are gonna uh, begin an introduction into the next unit, which is gonna be uh, different government styles around the world. So we'll talk a lot about um, the American government system and then uh, compare that to a few others uh, just to get a basic idea of governments, purposes of governments, and things like that around the world. An absolutely fantastic topic. Not that they're all not fantastic. So that's this week. I apologize that now we have to listen to my voice every week, and I just kind of can go off at the mouth sometimes for too long. But we're back, and we're one big happy family. So that is it. We are back. Mr. Zarrett is in charge fully once again. It is the week of April 17th in sixth grade social studies.